guys so we are back again with another reading this one is going to be who is envious of you and why who is jealous who are your enemies and what is the situation what is going on in their head and what is the deal so I also figured today we would have a little bit of a healthier option um, instead of the usual delicious desserts that we always have that I know are so good and we will be back to those soon but I figured since sometimes these readings make people hungry anyway will inspire some healthy eating habits for a change so we are going to go with the vegetables and I really love how these turn out so we are going to start from the bell pepper so that one is going to be one two three and four so I will show you up close this one is number one of course you guys don't need me to explain a bell pepper number two is the tomato looking really good so yeah number three is this potato so whichever one you feel drawn to go to that it could also be by color and number four is the green bell pepper so hopefully one is already calling your name you can also close your eyes see what colors come to mind but yeah hopefully one is already calling you and let's go ahead and jump into pile one hello pile one so if you guys picked this yellow pepper this is going to be your reading i'm assuming most of you guys know about yellow green yellow bell peppers so i don't need to tell you too much so i figured we can go right into the reading and pre-pull the cards and lay them out because i loved how fast that went last time so let's get into it we got the seven of cups we got the nine of wands the page of pentacles queen of wands reversed we got the 10 of wands reversed the king of wands reversed the hermit reversed strength three of pentacles reversed and the five of cups reversed so i'm kind of talking fast because like it's coming in so fast i actually intended to um live pull or pre-pull the cards for you guys and then like have them ready to go but honestly it's coming in so quick that i was like let me just live shuffle for you guys um so i pre-pulled some but I'm getting so much info right off the bat. So I feel like for you guys, honestly, I feel like this could be family or something. I feel like these people think of you a lot. I feel like you guys, let me try to lay out all the information I've gotten because I hate when like I'm not filming when I get it because then I'm, I'm trying to relay it later. But um, so first off, I feel like you guys are working on something. I feel like you guys are working on some kind of a project or some kind of a goal you guys have. This project should lead to financial abundance and I feel like that's the intention on your part like you it's like your eyes your eyes are on the prize you know you are focused you are goal oriented you are head in the game kind of energy like I see you guys like single-mindedly focused you guys aren't confused you guys aren't like distracted you guys are going for it and I feel like that has caused a lot of people to be jealous honestly and i feel like they're trying to sabotage you i feel like there's two people and i honestly feel like if i'm being perfectly honest it could definitely be a father and a mother because it's like a powerful feminine energy powerful masculine energy and if you guys know tarot you probably already guessed like queen of wands um, king of wands where i feel like there are people like these parents i feel like or whoever this is again it could be a boss i guess or I feel like it's definitely a masculine and a feminine and I feel like they had some kind of authority over you if that makes sense so take it how it resonates um, but for most of you I feel like it makes sense it would be a parent it feels like that um, I feel like these people had certain goals for themselves or ideas of themselves I'm almost getting like delulu delusional vibes maybe a little bit of narcissism where like they thought they were the main character they thought it was all about them they thought that you know they were going to have this like amazing life and accomplish all these things it hasn't happened and now they see you on this path and you're like you're like gunning for it like i feel like you guys it's like a speeding train like it's like you guys i'm getting such a strong energy like i said i, I was like 
let me pre-pull the cards and let me, you know, get them all ready. And then I was like, whoa, oh my God, I, I, the, the downloads came in so strong and so fast. So I feel like you guys are, that's like your energy. It's so strong. It's so powerful, honestly. Like I feel like your team and your guides as well are very present with you because you guys are like doing something important. Like I feel like this is a pivotal kind of moment for you guys, to be honest. So I feel like, um, yeah, you have this energy around you where if, you guys didn't succeed i mean i guess something could happen but if you can keep this current energy that you're in right now it's like it's inevitable it's like a, a speeding train like i'm like oh my god the energy like again it's so strong it's kind of overwhelming so i feel like the these people they, they can see that about you and they don't like it they don't like that you guys are going for this goal so strongly and it's annoying them it's triggering them their insecurities like maybe they never accomplished the things they wanted maybe they always thought they were going to have so much money i feel like you know i was reading some story about i don't know like some young people making fun of like people in their 30s for not having like a ton of money or whatever and you know it's so funny how like everyone when they're a teen or they're a kid they always think you always think you're gonna grow up and like have like a mansion or whatever you know but it's hard to actually sometimes bring that into the reality um and so it's like i feel like these people had ideas of themselves as they were going to accomplish something they were going to be a big idea big person somehow they were going to have this glamorous life and maybe they even accomplished some of that maybe they considered their lives glamorous or cool or like oh i was really successful because they were earning a certain amount but it's like you've come in and you have this strong success energy around you and it's like they just can't stand it like you guys are like star energy like i, I mean the tarot card the star i'm kind of surprised that didn't come out actually let me shuffle again and see if i get anything else from this because i wonder if that will come out but um oh my god i i okay <laughs> i literally got chills ah i'm telling you you guys like your team this is so crazy so the star this the sun is very close to the star like seriously if you know tarot you might have chills as well that that came out and i did not mess around with those cards i'm glad you guys got to see me live shuffle um because yeah i'm not a magician i don't know how to do card tricks that is so crazy you guys really are exuding this energy you guys are on this huge trajectory towards success and i honestly see you guys doing so much like crazy and um and so it's like i feel like even if you don't see that in yourself other people see that in you um you know i'm thinking of stories of like you know celebrities or people where they were teased when they were little or something and it's almost like in my mind i think a lot of that comes from people can sense an energy around someone that like oh they're death because like since i read energy for a living i kind of know what that is but i think a lot of people pick up on the same energy but they're very unconscious and they might react to that by being jealous or angry they don't really know you know all the spiritual laws and stuff so they're just like well why does that person have this special energy and why do they get attention and why blah 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 so i feel like you're provoking this energy in them where they are super jealous of the path that you guys are on and that even as you are now you guys probably are the types that command attention when you walk into a room again this is maybe something you guys may not even notice or maybe some of you are uncomfortable about it like you're like yeah i do and i hate it and i try to like dress down i don't want to be stared at in public i don't want to have like looks when i'm just running in to get you know chips at the gas station but it's like that's inevitable you should understand that it is a gift i know that may be a bur feel like a burden at times but it is a gift and a lot of people would be so jealous of it so i feel like these are people honestly in your family who are jealous and i honestly feel like with the three of pentacles reverse that they like sit around and do talk about you it's almost like collusion i'm seeing people like in a corner whispering together this can be a super powerful card but in this context i really feel like they are like banding together against you to try to speak on you and i would be very cautious interacting with these people if they're are your parents i'm never gonna you know tell anyone to 
you know obviously that's your choice you have to make and i don't want to like ever tell someone like oh cut off your parents or something because you know plenty of people have great relationships with their parents and i don't want to like get in the way of that so it's definitely something you guys have to kind of think about and feel out but i just feel like this energy so if this doesn't resonate maybe you picked the wrong pile sometimes you know no pile is for you that day and you may just pick and you really feel confused you don't feel super drawn then don't take it to heart but for those of you where this is resonating i feel like i would be very cautious around these people because i definitely i almost feel like they're currently planning something and i felt really called to do this reading today and i was like why why like i you know i always try to think of like what would people want to listen to and i'm like who's your enemies like this is so dark i mean it is halloween but i usually try to do uplifting stuff so but i literally felt like they were like screaming at me to do who are your enemies and you coming in so hot and so strong like crazy and you guys saw i shuffled and i was like is it the star and the sun came out which if you know astrology you know how crazy that is or not astrology but that would work as well if you know tarot you know how crazy that is like seriously insane but i feel like you know that may be the re you guys may be the reason why that i was feeling like having spirit screaming in my ear to do who are your enemies um because it's like you guys might need this as a warning because i feel like these people are like colluding against you i just keep hearing colluding collusion so it's like they're they're talking with each other about you and they are scheming they're definitely this is scheming energy i'm surprised we didn't get the five of swords um or something like that or the seven of swords but i feel like yeah this is that's the energy regardless i feel like they they spend a lot of time thinking about you and kind of watching you from afar and i also feel like you guys kind of know this about them on a deep level and you keep a distance from them anyway um you guys are just kind of like aware but you maybe some of you guys don't want to fully admit it to yourself and you're kind of hoping for the best like oh i'll just you know maybe they didn't mean it like that and i'll try to be positive about it but it's like no they're, they're colluding and i think it is wise for you guys to continue to not tell them stuff about you i feel like you guys don't tell them stuff like if i i feel like if these people ask about like what are you up to what are you doing with your career you guys would just be like oh nothing you know like you guys don't trust them or you know not to tell them certain stuff but it's almost like you might have to do that even more you might have to walk away from them with the final card that we originally pulled being the five of cups it may be something where it's like it's just time to kind of move on i feel like um of the five of cups reversed so it may be something where you think that there's still something left there but it's really not it's time to move on it's time to keep going um because i they're just very jealous they're very jealous they're very envious so yeah i think that was all the info i think that came through um so let's go into the other cards we got deep knowing a leg up and regeneration so yeah i feel like for a lot of you this is like a family of polar bears right here and i feel like for a lot of you guys this could be a family situation and i almost feel like these people they're saying stuff like oh well they got a leg up or they got it unfairly or they got special treatment or something like they're very jealous and they're very much trying to you know sabotage or make it out like you don't deserve it or you know like why should it happen to you kind of a thing yeah they're very envious and i also think you guys are very psychic i think you guys have some psychic abilities so i feel like you guys are already an aware of this on a certain level like you guys already know that they are shady and that it's something that you want to keep your distance from so like listen to that intuition and don't uh, don't question it or doubt it because that is definitely the truth so we also got the spirit whisperer divine guidance higher knowing 
the cosmos, creativity, vastness, the word lord, communication, praise, dishonesty, the swan queen, transformation, intuition, patience. So I feel like you guys are very psychic and creatively gifted. Some of you guys may be water signs and getting strong water energy. So you could also have water elsewhere in your chart or strongly aspected Neptune, Pluto, or the moon. Um, it could be like aspecting your sun or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I think I said, I'm so tired today, but I think it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. If you guys are one of those signs, then this definitely is for you. And if you're not, it's still for you, but just, you know, that's just the energy coming through. I feel like you guys are very creative, very spiritual, very intuitive. And also some of you guys are really good at communication. So if you guys have been thinking about going into some kind of a field or this work that you're doing involves communication, I feel like you guys are really good at it. I feel like you guys are naturally talented, gifted. You may have a very strong Mercury in your chart as well. You may have like, um, yeah, a really like Mercury aspecting the ascendant or the sun, um, you know, a conjunction or a trine or something. Um, or you might have Gemini or Virgo strongly in your chart. What um, do we need to know about these enemies? What does Pile One need to know about these enemies? Adversity, patience reversed, judgment, happiness. What does Pile One, oh, what are these? What does Pile One need to know about these enemies? What does Pile One need to know about these enemies? So I feel like you guys are very empathic. And it's almost like a lot of you guys have been trying to look on the bright side with these people and have been trying to be like giving them the benefit of the doubt, giving them, you know, it's almost like you've been doubting yourself, though. You've been like asking yourself like, well, they didn't mean it. No, 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 they didn't. I know they said that, but like I know that they did this, but no, I it's like you guys are very sweet, empathic, sweet, nice people. I keep saying sweet, but that's the word that comes to mind. Um, and so I feel like it's like you just keep, you know, keep trusting, keep trying to see the best in them, but they see the worst in you and they are like scheming on you. Um, and I feel like you guys have been putting up with this situation for a long time. And with patience reversed, I feel like it's saying like, it's time for you to <laughs> stop being so patient and stop trying to make this happen. Um, judgment also, I feel like these people are really judgmental of you and really harsh towards you. Um, I feel like you wouldn't even be aware of some of the things they say. Like, I feel like they're scheming hard. I feel like they are, they are like really up to something. I don't, ooh, I don't like this energy to be honest. I feel like they're really up to something. It's giving me the creeps. Um, yeah so i feel like they are they are they are trying to do something to you that's really not good and i feel like you know we got regeneration which relates to the tower card and then we got adversity and i feel like you guys being around them could lead to more difficulty to be honest like it, it could lead to a lot of really difficult life lessons which you know it's your choice and you get to learn um whatever lessons you want but i mean i think teal swan um she had a great lesson recently about the boat um and i heard i think it was kino tarot brought this up as well and um but i love teal swan's original like message about it and kino did a great um recapping of it as well but it's like when a boat is sinking when you know something in your life needs to end it's kind of like spirit will start putting holes in your boat um so that you're forced to switch boats and um it's so true and i think that the one of the key things to remember about that is like it's a lot easier to get out of the boat safely when you first see that original hole right when you first get that first sign of like uh, the same work and that's the time when you probably have you know a while to be like okay let me go find a dock let me go find a really nice piece piece of land to dock myself up to and i'll just you know find a way to get home let me maybe i can even navigate all the way back to like my car or my house or however i got here 
you might have a good amount of time to get your way back, you know, um, or to navigate. Even if you only have a few minutes, that can be perfectly enough time for you to, you know, swim to shore and get yourself on dry land and it's not going to be as stressful. But if you stay in that boat and you keep seeing all the holes pop up and all the water seeping in and you still stay in the boat and you still stay in the boat, you're going to get really wet. It's going to be really chaotic. You're going to be, you know, hopefully you know how to swim because it could really go left. Um, but you know, you are going going to have a way worse time switching out of that boat or finding a solution than if you just, you know, switch out at the first opportunity, switch into the other boat. And so I feel like, um, I feel like with you guys, like there may be a lesson here where if there's an opportunity for you to kind of end this situation, it may be something to think about doing because I feel like these people do have your worst interest at heart. I was going to say they don't have your best interest, but it's like worst interest. And we got patience again. So I feel like reversed again reverse let, let me make that perfectly clear reverse not upright so i feel like spirit is really wanting you to know like this is not the time for patience this is the time for you guys to we got patience there as well but that was about transformation intuition and that was the only time it was upright um but yeah i feel like they want you to know that like the timeline is kind of done for some of you guys you may have had a soul contract with these people and i feel like it's like it's been fulfilled it's it's done and you don't need to keep staying here wow see all these cards flying out now all tied up and envy so i feel like they're keeping you tied up like you're tied up and it's you know you guys are on this huge trajectory to success and um when you're on a big trajectory like that, like, yes, I, I told you, like, I feel like you guys are so online with this and it's going to happen, but you know, it can happen so much smoother when we learn to cut the negative people out of our lives earlier and we don't try to keep trying to make it work or trying to, you know, make everything okay or make it right when we know it's not right. We know it's wrong. Um, I feel like this is about you guys coming into your own power fully see the see oh wow i almost said seething which is my lisp coming through but also i feel like that's the appropriate word for them they are like seething about your success but it's really about seizing the um the sun energy that you guys are exuding this star energy you know the sun is the most powerful i gotta be honest i know the leos don't need to have any more of an ego but it's true um you know the sun is the source of light in in the universe and in astrology so it's like that is the most powerful planet and that's what we always look to that's why people say they're sun signs because it is the most powerful um planet and so it's actually sometimes people are like well not sun sign astrology and that's not all you should do but it is a legitimate way because it's a huge 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 part of your personality and your um, identity is your sun sign because the sun is so powerful so um, it's like you guys have this incredible burning power in you and I'm not saying all of you are Leo's I'm but you you guys might have a strong Sun you might have um, Sun in the first house or just a really strongly aspected Sun um, yeah, you guys may have sun in Aries. I don't know, but you guys have a very strong sun and this very beautiful solar energy exuding from you. So it's like seize upon that. Take your power back because I feel like you know that these people don't. It's like they, like I said, they see the worst in you. I feel like you guys could do the smallest thing. You guys could be like doing nothing and they would find an issue with it. You, you could be like, hey, good morning. And they'd be like, oh my god uh wow saying good morning like that with that tone of voice uh you know what i mean it's like someone who just wants to see the worst wants a fight wants to instigate something and i feel like they yeah it, it's from envy that's what it's from is like they're very envious of you so i think that it would be wise to just kind of start distancing backing away um i feel like a lot of you guys have already energetically done that already energetically kind of removed yourself and i feel like you guys don't engage with them as much as you once did but i i think that's a very wise choice i feel like also like spirit wants you guys to focus on your craft because you guys have so much beautiful stuff that you guys are working on i feel like i keep getting communication 
And so I don't know, for some of you guys, that may be something that involves speaking out loud or like YouTube or something, or it may be writing. I'm, I'm seeing like someone writing. So I don't know, take what resonates and leave the rest. But I feel like you guys are supposed to be working on that. You guys are supposed to bring something really beautiful into this world. I feel like you guys have a very special destiny and I feel like your guides, that's why I'm getting so much strong angel power. Like, wow, I feel like you guys really are surrounded by angels. I wasn't surprised that the first card we got out of this deck was Archangel Uriel. And I think, oh my gosh, I think Uriel has something to do with um, writing in the arts and she's carrying that um, book in that image. And I'm pretty sure I kind of blank sometimes on the like well like i don't want to say less important because they're not they're very important they're all important but you know um but i think uriel i think is in charge of creative stuff to a certain extent as well as one of the other angels i can't remember but anyway um i feel like you guys are supposed to be focusing on that and really being in your like i feel like if you guys didn't have these people tying you down you would just be able to flourish and i actually feel like maybe that is one of the reasons why that you've been a lot like you'd be able to fly and we got flying as i was saying that like i feel like you guys um you guys what was i gonna say have such an important destiny and it's like you guys have been learning so much from this whole series of events. Like sometimes when someone has an important destiny, they have to go through these really difficult hardships because it like trains them and it makes them kind of, um, I don't know, it makes them stronger. Like I don't, I'm not smart enough to get everything that God does, but I've noticed that so much of the time. So I feel like you guys have grown through this process. You've become more mature and probably more spiritual and wise and everything as a result. But I also feel like the time for that is kind of over and it's now it's time for you guys to really flourish, come into your own, start flying. And I love that you guys got protecting treasure because I feel like that's you. You guys are the treasure that you need to protect. You guys need to protect yourselves, you know, because these people don't have good intentions at heart. And I feel like you're going to get like with unexpected visitors, they may like pop up somehow or contact you or if you tried to cut them off, maybe they would like show up at your door or hopefully not or, you know, send you texts or DMs or try to like if you go no contact, try to like get back in touch with you or something. But I feel like spirit, like Dragon's Lair is saying that these people are shady and they don't have your best interest at heart. So it's really important that I feel like you guys take this to heart. I feel like I want to see you guys as she's like wide open. She's so open. She's so ready and she can fully embrace life because, you know, there's nothing around her holding her back. And I feel like these people are holding you back with their jealousy, their resentment, their own failures that they've had. They're mad that they didn't accomplish the things they dreamed of. So they're trying to hold you back. It's almost like I'm hearing running out the clock. I also feel like these people are trying to like waste your time so you may not accomplish the things you're supposed to in time like you know of course we always think we have all the time in the world but time flies you know what i mean and sometimes it's not that things have an age limit because obviously you can do different things at any age but you know it might be a lot easier to do when you're like 18 than when you're 45 you know what i mean or there may be certain goals that are kind of time sensitive and so it's like i feel like these people they're trying to sabotage you so much they're trying to run out the clock maybe prevent you from having close relationships romantically or accomplish things career-wise because they would hate to see you succeed so it's like they're trying to keep you all like they bring chaos to you so that you're forced to deal with that instead of actually focusing on like your career or this awesome new date with this new guy that you really like that kind of a thing where they want your attention on them they want you kind of disoriented and unfocused and a little bit frazzled and so it's like again I, I think that's one of the reasons why it's so important for you to just you know maybe think about a little bit of distance being a really smart move so is there anything else you want me to communicate to pile one wow so i just heard go now that's what they said go now so I feel like they're they're saying like if something I don't know if something happens 
where maybe something has happened with some of you guys where like you got into an argument with these people or something and there's almost like a window open where you can leave them behind like i don't know maybe things came to a head or there was some fight and words were said or something and now it's like kind of a schism and you know you know you could call them or they might call you and you you wonder if you should pick up i feel like spirit is saying like no take this opportunity and just go because I don't think it's gonna get any better. I think it's just gonna get a lot worse. And you guys have such an important destiny. I feel like your life is gonna be amazing, amazing, this flying energy if you can just focus on that. And you guys can just focus on this sacred, like you guys have like a sacred th journey. Like we got the temple path and I feel like it's almost like, you know, if you were the president of the United States, but you constantly had to deal with like, I don't know, like some, angry little toddlers that like are like crawling around your room or something like it's like you wouldn't be able to get work done and you need to focus on like you know international relations or like genuine crises not a bunch of toddlers no offense to toddlers or anything but you know and these people kind of seem emotionally like toddlers to be honest so that's probably why spirit brought that metaphor to my mind but it's like you know obviously if you have an important task and stuff it's not to say that like oh i'm better than everyone but you need to have your focus so you can like with the president you know is not focused then like everyone in the country and the world is going to suffer so you need to make sure that you are on point because you guys do have an important destiny and i feel like your guides are going to help you accomplish that but it's time to be brave time to lean into it and time to go according to them and just leave this behind so if you need a confirmation on that this is a definite confirmation that yeah leave that behind so i really hope it helped guys let me know if it resonates in the comments also make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications but let me know your thoughts i love hearing from you guys and i will see you guys in the next reading sending you so much love and light have an amazing day guys bye hello pile two so if you guys picked this tomato this is going to be your reading hopefully i don't need to tell you guys too much about tomatoes so yeah, let's just get right into the reading. I'm just going to show you the detail around it, but let's get into it. I relayed the cards out because I really like how that path fast that went last time. So we got the seven of pentacles. We got the three of cups reversed, the world. We got the four of swords, the sun, the hierophant reversed, the knight of swords, the nine of pentacles, the tower, and the hanged man reversed. So I feel like for you guys... I feel like you guys have people who are jealous of like your lifestyle. I feel like some of you guys have a glamorous lifestyle or that's how it's perceived. Maybe that's how it's presented on social media or something. But it's almost like people see you as working on your back and also as being like destined for success and living some kind of a life of luxury. I also feel like you guys go against the norm a little bit. Like you guys kind of don't, I feel like, this might not be the case for everyone, but they perceive it as like you don't have that typical kind of boring nine to five. Or even if you do, it's like you're doing different stuff on the weekends. You have this kind of, you know, I feel like it's not like the kind of life of like, okay, I wake up, I go to work, I come home, that's it. It's kind of boring. You know, maybe I have kids and I take care of them, but it's very like, boring like i feel like you guys have this exciting something outside of the box or unexpected like maybe you guys always leave people guessing or they just never know what's going to come up for you guys i also feel like they perceive you as having a very easy life like a life of leisure and luxury i'm seeing a woman being like fed grapes by like a man by the pool <laughs> vibes we love that um i'm a second house venus conjunct jupiter so love that for you guys but i feel like there's a lot of resentment along with that like people you know it's almost like well who do they think they are or they're spoiled or something like that kind of vibe like i feel like people talk about you as if you're spoiled or as if you i don't know didn't earn it don't deserve it that kind of a thing it's like hater haterade energy you know and um yeah i feel like people are also jealous maybe some of you guys i'm getting kind of like leo-esque vibes and we did get the sun although you guys might not be leos but it's like i feel like yeah there's talk about like why do they have to be the center of attention why do they have to i'm also getting like libra vibes as well um and taurus of course but it's like 
I feel like people, you know, are like, why do they have to have attention? Or why do they always get attention? Or I don't, like, what kind of a job pays like that? You know, kind of a thing. Like, they see you as someone who is almost like conned your way into having money. I think that's probably, like, I think that's just like almost like a cope where people will say that because they don't like their job and they want to feel better, so they're angry. You know, why, um, who is jealous of pile two, the tomato pile? Who is jealous of pile two? tomato pile so we got higher power the fates i just love how this girl is like feeling herself in this she just looks like she you know you could just imagine that she's looking down at her outfit and she's like i know i look good you know she just looks like she is super happy and like confident in this photo you can see she just looks i don't know if this camera is focusing but she just looks confident and she really does look to me like she's feeling her outfit, which I think is like this really pretty kind of ball gown. So it's kind of luxurious and she looks like she's just like, maybe she put on some like expensive glitter body lotion with all the stars and now she's just like, ooh, I look good, I feel good. It's kind of like that feeling you get when you first get out of the shower and you know, maybe you put on some perfume or some hair stuff or you know, some lotion and you're just like, hmm, oh, I look great. Oh, I feel great. And so I feel like that's what people perceive you as, as like someone who is maybe on point with like self-care as well, like you take good care of yourselves. Um, and you guys like look good, feel good, and almost like people are like, well, who do they think they are? It's almost like you guys dress or act like a celebrity and people are annoyed by that. And why? That's exactly what they're asking. Like, well, why do they get to dress like that? Why do they get to act like that? Um, so it's like this jealous, envious type of energy. And I feel like you guys may travel a lot and may go to like, oh, I love when it just camera goes out of focus. Thank you so much camera. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys, I hope it focused on why I'll show it to you again, but yeah, I feel like you guys may be traveling a lot maybe going all around the world or exploring different places and posting about it or something. But I definitely feel like these people, they almost don't understand how you afford this lifestyle. And I feel like they think a lot about how you get the money. Like where did the money come from? Who gave you the money? Um, Honestly, this could be someone that you used to date or their new partner with the three of cups reversed or like a third party or someone, I don't know, it could also be someone who has, I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, this may be like, so if you're a girl who dates guys, like some random guy in your life, a girlfriend, <laughs> or you know, maybe you have like a male coworker and you just don't even care about him, but he has a girlfriend and the girlfriend like stalks your social media or something. I feel like it's someone who has a partner of the sex that you date. So whatever that is, like if you guys are into, you know, guys, then it would be, you know, and 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 the guy dates girls, and then it would be a girl or whatever. You know what I mean? So if you guys are aware of someone like this, someone that would be jealous or it's almost like they're afraid you're gonna steal their partner, like I'm hearing steal their man. So take it as it resonates. I know I definitely have some like straight dudes who watch my channel as well, um, but it's definitely something where there's a fear that you're gonna like take their partner, I guess. So yeah, I think that I think that comes into play for why they're like hating so much. So let me get more cards. I think I'm gonna have to turn on my light soon. It's getting dark so early and I'm so not used to it. Like why is it why is it not still summer and like light out until 9 p.m.? So we got judgment. They're definitely very judgmental of you. Trust, service reversed. I feel good when I can help others. So it's almost like that may be something that they use or they say is like, well, they're so selfish. They're never helping people. They should use that money to help people or something like that. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, well, if that's the case, why don't you take your money and help people <laughs> if you're so charitable, you know? But they are, I feel like they're hating about your money situation. They're hating about the lifestyle you lead and they kind of make judgments or try to make it out to people because I do feel like they talk about you. I'm definitely gonna have to get another life for them. This. so hold on you guys okay so we got the light on now but I feel like yeah there's almost like there could be talk about I'm getting like sustainability or something I know that's really weird but for some of you guys it may be like 
I can't believe this person is causing pollution by traveling around on planes or like they buy so much stuff online and they must be, you know, spending so much money or, you know, getting a lot of packages or something like that. Like I feel like there's talk about like shaming you guys for your lifestyle or for your perceived lifestyle um, or like, well, they use so much makeup and it's toxic chemicals or you know what I mean? So it's almost like these people are trying trying to make like a moral judgment on you because of the like fun kind of lifestyle that you guys lead or because of the luxury that they perceive you having let me get one more card for pile two so we got regret so maybe for themselves they kind of regret their own life i definitely feel like they wish in a way like as much as they may act like they you know don't care i definitely feel like they regret kind of um they regret that they don't have the kind of lifestyle you guys have but i i'm also getting this message at the same time that like for some of you guys this may be an ex who regrets how they acted or regrets that they lost you and it may be that they have a new partner and so they and their partner kind of watch your stuff and hate on it but like the emotions underlying it are like darn, I can't believe I made that huge mistake. I can't believe I let them go kind of a thing. So let me get more. Who is hating on pile two? Who's hating on pile two? Wow. <laughs> and I'm talking about money and we got the prison wave, self-sabotage, poverty consciousness. That is so true. That sums up this person. And then sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. Like I feel like this person has a poverty consciousness that they have to figure out and you guys don't. You guys have a very good idea towards money and stuff you oh my god see they're definitely this is definitely about money the diamond dreamer material wealth true prosperity so it's like they are just angry that i feel like i feel like some of you guys are just really good manifestors like even if you don't have that good of a job and you're not making like a huge amount of money it's like your manifestations are on point so if you want a bag you can find a way to get it i'm hearing like the ariana grande song you know i think it's seven rings but i might be wrong but where she goes i want it i get it you know that like and she just repeats that like i feel like that's you guys you guys don't need to you know bend break your back because you guys understand money manifestation and you understand the law of attraction or whatever so if you want to plan a trip somewhere you might not have you know a ton of extra money to just throw around maybe some of you do but maybe some of you don't but it's like you know that you can somehow manifest a way to it and that someone you know maybe will call you and be like i know this is crazy but like i just was supposed to go on this trip with my boyfriend he dropped out would you want to go on the trip like I know that's weird, but, and then you end up getting to go. I'm not saying that's happened, although that would be dope if that happens. You guys can call me if you have the extra ticket, but, um, but it's like, I feel like you guys can find a way to manifest because sometimes, you know, even like this, you might not have like, X amount of like dollar signs coming in, but you know how to manifest the things you want. You're very good at that. So I feel like these people, they, they're bad at it and they just don't get it. And they constantly think, I think about how do you, like we got the Knight of Swords and it's almost like they're overthinking. They're going over it and over it in their head. Like, how did this happen? How did she get this? How did he get this? Like, why does he have this? Um, and it, it and it irritates them that they can't kind of get an answer to it. Um, I feel like they would call you bougie in like a bad way, not as a compliment, but like in a bad way. They would be like, and maybe they would also call you like stuck up or superficial or something like that, like full of yourself or whatever, kind of, you know, yeah it's definitely like judging you for some of your tastes and judging you for the fact that you like nice things what who are pile two's enemies who are pile two's enemies into the unknown commitment wizard of awareness i also feel like for some of you guys this is someone who regrets ever introduced like the fact that you ever met their man or their woman you know this is someone who is like mad that you guys um i feel like you guys are like this star and there is this attraction that someone has towards you and 
this is the, this other party is aware of it and is really unhappy and is very mad that you have come into their life or whatever and so that they are aware of you now um, they don't want this person to know you or to know about you they just want to keep this person in the dark like this lady who's blindfolded and so it's like also i feel like a lot for a lot of you this could be like an ex I feel like for some of you guys, this is someone you wouldn't even necessarily know about. So it's not an ex. I feel like it's some someone who has a crush on you and their partner. Um, their partner is aware of you. Like maybe they've mentioned a few too many times, you know, like, oh, like I saw Betsy's going to, you know, Panama this week. Look at her Instagram. Isn't that crazy? Or like, yeah, Betsy was wearing this really pretty shirt. You should buy it. Or, you know, maybe it's the opposite. Like, um, Bobby was coming in and he looked really good today. Yeah, you should get that kind of tie. It looked really good against his skin. And there's like a partner involved who's jealous of you and um, and who is just like, why, why is this person around? And they're mad that you are in the scene. You know what I mean? So I just saw like some TikTok the other day and it was like um, talking about like, how do you know, how did you know that your man was some woman's work crush? I don't know why it came up. I was like, what even is this? I don't even know where I saw it. It wasn't on TikTok. Just, I don't know. It just popped up for me and I was like, oh, okay. I don't even know why you'd make a video about that. But that's what's coming into my mind is like someone's aware of you and maybe this is someone you work with. It could be for a lot of you. And I feel like you wouldn't even consider this person a romantic prospect, but they and their partner are both very aware of you and like their partner is very jealous of you and probably like asks about you like well what did she say today and probably may even try to play it cool but like they're definitely envious um and they're definitely keeping tabs of you and for others of you i feel like this is a ex and i feel like they and their ex definitely they and their new partner definitely sit around and talk about you and it's almost like um, if this is an ex they can't move on because they're super stuck on you and they're very much um and they're very much like yeah just stuck in the mud like this elephant unable to move forward but i honestly feel like you guys probably make a lot of people jealous pile two because you guys have this strong sun leo energy and i feel like you guys yeah you're just like the star and you kind of know it you kind of have this confidence and it irritates people people are like well who are they to think they're so great and it always i'm, I'm brought to mind like it always amazes me i mentioned this before how people get so annoyed at selfies because I'm like someone's feeling themselves why would you be mad I'm, I'm always happy when someone posts a cute selfie I always like it because I'm like good for you you look great and I love when it's really close and you can see into someone's eyes and see their soul and see how happy they look that always makes me happy but it's so funny how it like whips people into like a rage when someone posts a selfie like they'll be like so people posting selfies and I'm like what isn't there other stuff in this world to get mad about than someone posting a selfie like especially when someone's happy and they they look all peaceful I love those so I feel like this is that kind of vibe where someone is maybe low vibrational themselves and they're just projecting it onto you. But I definitely feel like you guys have multiple people jealous, definitely an X energy, possibly all the people I mentioned. <laughs> I feel like you guys have a lot of um, people kind of keeping tabs on you, people keeping track of you. So yeah, let's pull some more cards for pile two. The tomato who is jealous of pile two okay so we got cornucopia garden and the gate door to spirit magician and the mirror hostilities so yeah um spirits just saying that you guys are a really good manifester and i feel like this is one of the reasons why people are jealous is because you are a really good manifester and we just got broken heart and caring connections so acknowledging that yeah this could i definitely feel like there is jealous partner romantic energy coming through i feel like for a lot of you guys this is an ex and for others it could be this third party situation that i don't even think you guys are like an aware that you're um, the third party in this but i feel like you are i i don't even feel like this is someone that you would be you're you're not checking for them you're not like trying to seduce them but their partner is very aware of you and jealous of you um and for others 
yeah, it's, I, I feel like it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of people. There's a lot of energy coming through here. I feel like a lot of you guys just irritate people because you guys are on point. I feel like you guys dress cute. You guys act cute. You guys have, it's like hair, nails, skin, makeup. If you're a guy, you know, maybe it's just hair, skin, overall look, body, vibe, energy, but it's like everything's on point. And so people are just getting irritated. People are mad because it's like, you know, it's kind of like you could imagine like if Megan Fox walked through some random mall in <laughs> the middle of nowhere or something, there would be people like, and, and maybe say people didn't care that she was a celebrity. She just looked like Megan Fox and she was fully dressed up in like her LA outfits people would be probably irritated and they'd be like who is that who does she think she is you know what i mean and you still see those comments online on like um you know a, a paparazzi photo of her or something people will say nasty stuff or like she thinks she looks so good she doesn't and so it's like i think when someone has a lot of confidence it just tends to trigger people even if they have good intentions or they're just like oh i love this outfit and i'm feeling creative and i'm just gonna wear it it, it does trigger people especially low vibrational people so don't take it to heart that you guys have so many people coming through in this reading. Take it as a big compliment. I feel like this is like my little stars of the Zodiac kind of vibe where you guys just naturally attract a lot of attention. You guys, I feel like also are good at putting together outfits or good at doing makeup or good at presenting yourself really well. You guys kind of just know how to like make yourselves look good and you'd be like a lot of people have trouble with that i'm always amazed sometimes you know someone will go to like a hollywood award show and they're getting an award and they look like a complete frumpty and it's like what the heck like can't you hire a stylist for like one time you know what i mean so my point is is that i don't get it because i'm a second house venus so i'm like can we just get the looks on point please but you know to each their own but i feel like you guys would always come in there with like the outfits on point you guys also may be naturally just beautiful if you guys are like well i don't really dress up that much i feel like you guys have a natural style style flair like even if you're not going for the over-the-top glam look however you put together your outfits is going to kind of inspire envy so even if you're doing it always comes up in these readings which is so funny but like the what is it dark academia yep dark academia or like cottage core looks where it's not super glamorous by nature it's like you're doing it in a way that people are like wow oh my gosh oh wow they look like they came out of a storybook oh wow that's so fashionable you know what i mean so even if you don't come off as you're trying to look glammed out the way you put together outfits and stuff i feel like inspires jealousy and also just inspires people because i feel like you guys have a flair for creativity you guys have a natural grasp of that venus energy and honestly venus energy is coming through so strong in this i already mentioned this maybe libra or, or taurus um but yeah just to reiterate like i'm getting a super strong venus you guys might also have a really strongly aspected venus you might have venus conjunct the ascendant conjunct the sun um, or aspecting sun ascendant moon or you might have um, venus in pisces where it's exalted or just a really strong venus i don't know um, but this is just definitely you guys are or it could be like venus and libra venus and taurus where it's at home um but this is you guys coming through with like this strong venus energy this strong luxury and if you don't know what venus represents it's like love it's also luxury it's abundance it's wealth it's kind of fashion and um all those things it's, it's good food it's like you know it's just kind of like the good life and i feel like that's what you guys just definitely represent is someone whose lifestyle is just overall on point and i think that that inspires jealousy but you definitely should take it as a compliment so spirit is there anything else you want me to communicate to pile two they just said keep doing you so they don't want you guys to stop they don't want you guys to um feel like you should like this is a bad part of you or feel like like if you do feel someone being jealous or you're like gee why does that group of people hate me like i all i did was i just showed up to the bar and i look you know i'm not being mean and yet i'm being iced out by, the, by this new group of girls or something 
take it as a big compliment. You know, I keep seeing Saweetie in this um, in this reading, and honestly, I think Saweetie is so pretty. Like, just physically, I just think she looks like a Barbie doll or something. So I feel like it's it's a Saweetie type vibe. Like, where I feel like I'm sure she's had people be jealous or haterish towards her just because you know when you're really pretty that's what happens i think you know megan fox came up earlier so like same vibe but i also think saweetie apply i think she is a libra i think and i think she also you know she always has nails makeup everything on point and this is definitely kind of the energy of like someone who just commands attention and just is going to have haters because that's the nature of someone that has everything on point like that you get haters from everywhere you know so um so you guys should keep doing you keep feeling good about yourselves and just ignore them and like i said take it as a big compliment and know that it's because you guys are glowing so strong so i really hope it helped please let me know if it resonates in the comments i love hearing your thoughts and feelings guys and also make sure to like subscribe and turn on those notifications and i will be back soon for another reading so i will see you guys next time take care bye hello pile three so if you guys picked this potato this is going to be your reading so it is a fake potato i'm going to show you guys close up because i know some people like fake food like me but i'm not going to go too into detail with this because i think everyone knows what a potato is so let's get right into your reading guys i spread out the cards because i liked how quick that went last time so we got the seven of swords the magician the page of swords the Five of Wands, the Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, and King of Pentacles. So I feel like right away this might be someone you work with. Um, I feel like this is someone you've had a lot of conflict with. Like, this is not someone that I feel like you've never had it out with or you've never... Um, you know, like, they're being shady and sneaky, but I also feel like you directly had to... Um, like fight with them in some kind of a way not like necessarily physically but more like I feel like you guys have had to compete for some of the same stuff like this is why I'm getting maybe a work situation although it could be a dysfunctional sibling relationship or friend relationship or even like parent but I feel like this is something where you're in competition with the person um, and you're having to fight them for something like you guys are maybe just both going after the same kind of a thing. It could also be a romantic competition because we did get the three of cups. So it might be um, like a third party situation like you have an ex and they have a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend that kind of a thing but i feel like for a lot of you guys this is someone that you might work with or someone that you guys are going after the same kind of goal and i feel like this person is really sneaky towards you that yeah they they definitely don't have your best interests at heart and i feel like they do it underhandedly i feel like they would go behind your back or they would try to sabotage you but they're they're sneaky about it you know what i mean they're they i feel like even though you guys have directly had arguments or something they definitely are scheming they also have the page of swords so i feel like this person definitely schemes about how to like stop you so even if they you know say one thing to your face or they may be like hey listen i didn't like this to your face it's like behind the scenes they're doing a million times more you know what i mean so even though it may seem like well they were kind of honest about how they felt about this it's like no there's even more that they're not showing you that they are hiding and I feel like this person is trying to, yeah, it's almost like they're trying to steal something from you or trying to get away something you have, take something you have or that you want. So let me get more cards to clarify. So we got clean it up. Who is jealous of pile two? Who's jealous of pile two? Poise. So they see you as very poised. I feel like they see you as a big competition for them for whatever they want chop wood reverse it's almost like i'm hearing that they had it all figured out until you entered the picture or something like that where i feel like this person again this may be at work or something where like they don't want to have to work as hard and before you came in the picture they didn't have to but now you're competition for them and now they're having to 
like break their back over things and they really don't like that and so it's like they blame you for it this may even be a dysfunctional boss situation where the boss is like deliberately creating this kind of you know competitive vibe between you two and um and it's like it's like this person is playing into it you know this person is instead of them kind of being smart about it being like well it's not really their fault they they definitely are putting it on you so we got all that glitters come to the edge reversed let me get one more card yeah so this is definitely about money not for you but i feel like that's the message from this person to you like they they're like no this is mine this is my thing it's not yours they don't want you to have it they want it for themselves so i do feel like for some of you guys this could be an ex um, and their new partner because we got unfinished symphony as well um, and so i do feel like this is something where it's like i keep getting competing competing for something i don't know i feel like for a lot of you guys this is money but it also could be a person so take what resonates leave the rest but i definitely feel like they are convinced that like you entering the picture has almost like ruined things or like i'm hearing like you ruined everything or something it's almost like they had it all planned out you know how at the end of scooby-doo the villain will always say like and i would have gotten away with it too if not for you pesky kids or they always say like and i had it all planned out if not for you pesky kids and you're kind of the pesky kids in this situation that like got in the way of their plan i feel like they had something in their mind that they were definitely trying to manifest they were definitely going for it and it's almost like they felt like luck was on their side and then you came in and completely took all the energy out of the room like not in a bad way but it's almost like you guys they see you as being very poised as being someone who has a lot going for you and so they really feel like um you make them look bad in comparison we also got clean it up so it's almost like you guys may even present very well you guys may present as very like clean and very um like well dressed and well groomed kind of a thing where you always have you know are showing up and you have like nice clothes or you just look i'm just getting clean like physically clean <laughs> um which you know shouldn't be that high of a bar but i'm hearing that like maybe you guys just look clean so fresh so clean or something but they are i feel yeah jealous of that fact and it's like they they feel like they look worse in comparison they are taking it on as a insult to them which seems a little bizarre to me i'm kind of like huh but yeah it's like they are feeling like like you make them look bad and they don't like that so let me get more cards for pile three can you tell us more about who is this who is jealous of pile three the high lord of gratitude and service selflessness humility conscious action the dragon's duel inner conflict morality conscious choice this is such a good symbol for what i see going on here like these two dragons nipping at each other and just going on in infinity it looks to me like an infinity sign like i feel like this is just this ongoing conflict between you guys where it almost never ends like i feel like this is something that has honestly been going on for a while um yeah this may be someone in the same field as you some of you might not even be fully aware of this person but i feel like you would be aware of them on a certain level i feel like most of you guys are aware of this person but some of you it may be like you've never actually had that direct con like conflict with them like maybe you know it's kind of like you might like this is a really weird example but maybe you guys both own italian restaurants in the same town and even though you've never actually talked or actually had verbal words with each other like you know you you announce a five dollar off coupon and the next day they announce a seven dollar off coupon kind of a thing or you announce a new lasagna special and the next day they announce a special lasagna meal and so it's like um i feel like in that kind of a thing where they might be some of them might be very indirect but it's like i feel like you would know that this person is aware of you and even if they haven't actually stepped forward like to be honest about that i feel like you're aware that you're like huh well it's i mean i did wear those boots and then the very next day they wore the exact same thing or i did go speak to the boss about this and then the very next day they went and they 
walked in and they asked for you know the same thing or whatever so it's like i feel like if this person hasn't directly because i feel like the energy i'm getting at first i thought with the five of of wands and stuff that this was direct conflict but the energy i'm getting is kind of secretive i almost feel like they're afraid of you but i, I feel like they wouldn't ever tell you that directly they wouldn't ever want you to know that but i do feel like they're intimidated by you um i definitely feel like they put you up on their own pedestal it's not just about others putting you up on a pedestal but they're actually in intimidated by you maybe you guys are quite intimidating for some reason maybe you guys are really smart or well spoken you just have like an icy appearance maybe you guys have like rbf or something resting face you know where um you may just not seem like that friendly at first or something but i feel like they're intimidated by you for sure and i feel like that's why they go to underhanded means where they're not being fully honest about how they feel and they're not actually telling you so why so what, what what else can you tell us spirit who is jealous of pile three what else can you tell us who is jealous of pile three what is this person's deal surrender i release my need to control change reversed humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life who is jealous of pile three success why did these all fly out i don't know i'm gonna put these back except for success because that's resonating but i feel like so we got growth reverse okay cards flying out again so i feel like this person must feel very strongly towards you um and maybe that's why these cards keep flipping out because that doesn't happen with that deck usually but we got growth reverse success self-esteem discipline and health so i feel like it's almost like i'm getting the energy or the vibe of this person as being very type a like i feel like this person is very much by the books and very much it's almost like i'm getting like dwight Trout energy from the office um or if you watch my favorite version i didn't like the american office that much i didn't watch too much of it but i love the british office and so his name was gareth so if if you've watched those shows you know what i'm talking about where it's kind of um overly competitive very like constantly keeping tabs um you know i i don't know too much about dwight from the american office so i don't know if he's the same character i think he's a lot goofier but at least in the british office like gareth was always like you know wor worrying about you know where his stapler was or kind of stuff like that or like keeping track of like all the tiniest little rules and if they violated one thing you know he would make a big deal of it um kind of like milk monitor energy you know what i mean and i feel like that's like this person where they are keeping tabs on you and like hoping you mess up hoping you like it's like sabotage hoping that you even self-sabotage i think which is one thing we got self-sabotage yeah um like hoping that somehow you are going to fall and then they can come up and they can come in so yeah i think this person it's almost like they secretly really have this huge amount of respect for you and i feel like it's almost a little crazy like it's almost like you know the movie single white female how that movie is so crazy but it taps on something so true about you know how sometimes someone can admire you but they transform that in their mind and their dysfunctional behavior as hatred anger jealousy trying to imitate you so i feel like this person actually really likes respects you it, it might be one of those things where like i had co-workers once who this is so funny that this they keep coming up in my mind they would i don't like like sandwiches a lot and i never have and i'm actually gluten free so i don't eat them um, and so every day to work i would bring a salad not really a big deal right like who cares everyone a lot of people bring salads to work but for some reason these two girls were so like offended that i would bring salads i don't know why but they would always ask me like oh another salad oh another salad oh you're bringing a salad and um it was such a strange thing and i would be like well i mean yeah i like salads i don't eat gluten like 
<laughs> I mean, what's the problem? But they would always make a big deal and then be like, well, I'm eating a sandwich. So I've got my sandwich and I was always like, okay, like I, I don't care what you eat. But um, I thought it was really strange. And then um, I just I just thought it was like one of those weird things, you know, like, I don't know, sometimes people feel really strongly about food and I didn't think too much about it. And even I think sometimes I, I internalize a little bit of it, like, am I eating too much salad or? <laughs> Is there something wrong with salads? I don't know. Um, and um, then a few months later, one of them posted on Facebook about how she decided to like go on this health journey and she started eating all these salads and she cut out like bread. And I was like, but, okay, but like why when we were working together were you totally going on and on and on about how I need, need to eat bread and how you, you know, salads are so gross and you can't believe that I eat them every day. So what the heck? Like, I just thought it was so strange and hypocritical. And I realized then, cause I was younger then, so I didn't figure it out at first, but like now I would know from the jump what was going on. But you know, afterwards I was like, oh, so she was insecure about her body or about whatever health thing you know she she went on to fix at the end so she was taking it out on me and like projecting on me because i like to eat salads um and i still like to eat salads they're probably one of my favorite foods i really like i like like a really nice like good salad loaded salad with like lots of good stuff in it so um yeah i still love them they're one of my favorite foods and go-to's and anyway just I feel like that's like the energy here where someone is hating on you for something and the irony of that was that she like did the exact same thing she just completely copied what i was used to and not that i'm the only one who eats salads or whatever but since she had made such a big deal of it it was really bizarre to me um and it's like she ended up eating that for like every meal whereas i usually you know have a salad for lunch and then i'll have something else for breakfast or whatever but yeah, so the point is, I feel like this person would like get mad at you for something and then go copy it, get mad at you, but then go home and think about it and scheme on it and be like, well, I wonder if I should do that. Like, oh my God, that sweater is really bright. And then go home and Google like bright neon sweaters, you know, like they, they would like hate on you, but then copy it. You know, I'm also seeing Rihanna. So I feel like you know when rihanna pops up usually it's because she's such an individualist and such like a trendsetter and she just does things her own way and like i feel like a lot of people when especially a few years ago when rihanna first like now i feel like everyone knows she's kind of a fashion icon so people are like okay even if they don't get it they'll be like oh it's great and they'll pretend to get it but back in the day like a few years ago i feel like when she would wear some of her more outlandish outfits and stuff people would be like oh my god at first like they would be like oh that looks really crazy and then started people started to see like day after day year after year that you know everyone really loved her outfits and she always managed to rock it and then it shifted into like this grudging respect but it's almost like i feel like at first she had a lot of people that would talk about how like oh I, rihanna looked so bad wearing that but then six months later they'd be wearing the same outfit or the same piece of clothing because she's a trendsetter you know what i mean so it's almost like i feel that these people would you know try to make you insecure to your face but then secretly they're trying to copy you trying to look up what you guys have got going on trying to you know go, like go after what you have if that makes sense so i feel like yeah these people it's it's funny because they do have a lot i'm, I'm getting a lot of feelings of respect coming through so it's it's weird because they don't actually hate you, but they're definitely envious. And I definitely think these people are like, again, they're very sneaky about it. I don't think this is like a strong hate or anything. Some of the card piles have been like concerning because it's like, wow, this person really doesn't like you. Um, but this is definitely not that. I just feel like this person honestly is probably very insecure with themselves and probably, um, yeah, like they probably had these kinds of insecurities pop up through their whole life. Like the girl from Single White Female, I love that movie, but um, I love the aesthetic too, the vibe, the 80s look and everything. But it um, in that movie, like, I think like she'd had a lot of issues beforehand like she'd had other roommates that didn't work out you know what I mean other people that were kind of creeped out like 
everyone around the two so it's like about like this this girl who posts a listing for, that's where the name comes from is like back in the day when they used to have apartment listings it would be like single white female seeking single female roommate you know um or like single whatever i guess you would put your i don't know your relationship status your race your gender um and then your age or whatever else in like the headline because it was like a short listing and um so she moves in this girl and they seem to get along but the thing is is everyone around her has like weird feelings like she's nice to the girl but all the girl's friends are always like that she seems really odd she seems really weird or like she seems so over the top and i feel like that's the kind of thing is like i feel like this person has had issues in their life as a result of this kind of low self-esteem behavior that they have where they don't feel very good about themselves and they're always looking outward and probably have issues with jealousy and envy in general i always say like jealous and envious people they can be jealous of like a bag of chips you know they can be jealous of a single potato chip they can be jealous of anything and so it's not to say you guys don't have anything going on but I just feel like don't take this personally because I do feel like this person in general is is just jealous they are a jealous type of person and I think that they really honestly respect how you carry yourself and I feel like you guys are kind of no BS and you won't tolerate a ton of their stupidity like you're not the type one good thing i'm picking up on is like you guys aren't super huge people pleasers that will be like oh my gosh it's fine oh like i like i look back now and i'm like i can't believe they even had the audacity to constantly talk about my salads i should have just told them like get the get out of my face what is wrong with you guys like leave my salads alone you know what i mean like now i would be like okay well <laughs> go away but at the time i was younger i was more of a people pleaser and i was like oh yeah well <laughs> and i would just like laugh and go along with it but now i'm like now it would work with me so i feel like you guys have good boundaries and that's what i love i feel like for me it took a long time to get that but i'm sensing that you guys have some good boundaries up and i think that's really a smart way to deal with this kind of person um, because you don't want to like some people say keep your enemies close but i think it's good to kind of keep them at a little bit of a distance so we got dragon's lair and goblins so i feel like a lot of you guys you may be at a difficult situation and work as well where like your boss is creating this whole environment of um like a circus environment like a very chaotic environment where this person feels enabled and empowered to act crazy and to kind of be jealous and to be machiavellian so it may be like that you just have a cre chaotic work or family this could also be a family member or a sibling or something but i feel like there are people that could put this to a stop or could put their foot down and end this and they're not doing it so i feel like yeah this is just a chaotic situation in general and this person's kind of able to run amok and i feel like this person is very jealous but i feel like this person doesn't even realize how jealous and chaotic they are i think this person is convinced that you guys are very much destined for success and this person feels really bad about their financial situation we got door to value and then financial constraints like almost right after and so i feel like that's like their situation compared to yours like they they're really focused on the money um this is why i'm like thinking it's work related is because um yeah and it's almost like these two are racing with each other so i feel like this person is competing for money with you and they keep trying to win one over you so my advice would be for dealing with this person is like first of all don't tell them anything don't tell them anything about your life because i feel like this person would use it against you like if you're like oh my god i'm a little hung over today we had margaritas last night and they would go to your boss or they would go if you if this is a family situation they would go to your parent and like blow it up you know or if you were like oh, i'm going through a breakup i'm stressed out they would go around telling everyone like oh she had this horrible breakup it's really toxic she's toxic so don't tell this person anything keep it to yourself and just stay away and focus on your goal because i feel like you guys are a lot smarter than this person and i think this is what irritates this person is you're genuinely a lot more talented than them and you genuinely have a lot more to offer i also feel like you guys are hard workers 
and you're willing to put in the effort and this person has kind of coasted by being manipulative and stuff and they're not really a hard worker the way you are so i feel like if you guys can just kind of stay away and not let their toxic bs you know set in you guys are going to be on the road to success and everything it's just a matter of letting them it's almost like i'm seeing someone setting up little booby traps or setting up like bear traps in the woods and you have to kind of step around the bear traps and not let your foot get caught because i think that they're trying to kind of create sabotage for you guys so you might think about reading up on you know social skills or i'm not saying you guys don't have them but reading up on ways to manage difficult people um, like, I don't know, Robert Greene or the 48 Laws of Power or something like that, where you guys have an awareness of how to handle someone who is having it out for you. Because I definitely feel like you have just, it's almost like you've shown too brightly and this person is jealous and angry because they thought that they were next in line or something. They thought they were gonna go straight to the top and now seeing how well you're doing, it just contrasts to them like, oh, I'm actually not doing so great. So, I mean, take it as a compliment, but definitely keep your distance. I think this person might have mental issues, to be honest. They seem very low vibrational. I don't really like tuning into their energy and I just got a headache, which I was like, ugh. But I'm, I'm like, oh, I think it's because of this reading. Because I think this person is very low vibrational and very chaotic energy, to be honest. It's kind of unpleasant. And so I feel like they, they're just kind of a mess, to be honest. And I feel like they'll sabotage themselves with their stupid behavior. Like the girls that would do that at their work, you know, they got in trouble and one of them got fired <laughs> because they were always doing chaotic, crazy stuff like that. And like focusing on that instead of focusing on work. So I think that the thing is, is that let these people sabotage themselves and you guys stay focused and stay in your lane and maybe be nice to their face and then just, you know, completely don't tell them anything. Don't tell them anything about you. If they're like, how's your relationship? Be like, oh, it's good. It's great. You know, just nothing. And so, um, yeah, that would be my advice for handling this person because they're chaotic. I don't like their energy. I actually feel sorry for you guys having to work with these people if you have to work with them every day or if this is a family member and you have to be around them a lot. Eh, yeah, I wouldn't want to deal with this. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> I wish I could tell you something else. Is there anything else you want me to say to pile three? They're not, they're saying not really, like just keep doing you. And um, I feel like that, you know, the situation hopefully will resolve itself sooner or later, but I feel like it might not change in the near, near future. But I definitely feel like you guys have, like I would definitely rather be in your position. I definitely feel like you guys are on the winning team, so. Um, let me know if it resonates guys. I really hope that helps you. Let me know your thoughts and also make sure to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will be back very soon for another reading. Sending you guys so much love and light. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, Pile 4. So if you guys picked this green bell pepper, this is going to be your reading. I'll show you guys up close this fake bell pepper because I know some of you guys like to see it up close and then we'll get right into the reading I laid out the cards because I love how easy and fast that goes so we got the king of cups the five of swords the six of swords the four of cups reverse the page of cups the magician the seven of cups three of pentacles three of cups the four of swords reversed king of pentacles emperor reversed ten of swords and the nine of pentacles so i'm getting for some of you guys this may be an ex it may be someone from your past or their new partner um i feel like there's an energy though where i would think it would be more your actual ex not necessarily their partner but it could be that their partners involved as well or both but i feel like this person you know, I don't know, some of you guys may be dating someone new and this person is jealous of that whole situation. And I feel like they compare themselves to you and your new partner and they find themselves lacking. So they're very much kind of like thinking that your new partner, I guess, is pretty powerful, maybe pretty wealthy with the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. And it's almost like they constantly compare themselves um, and they, they feel like they're less than. So I feel like this person, 
you may have left the relationship or they left the relationship and now they spend a lot of time reminiscing about the past reminiscing about what you had they they have a strong emotional attachment to you guys yeah they're very emotionally attached i feel like they sit around and they listen to music that reminds um them of you so yeah they definitely i'm hearing that shania twain song you're still the one so i maybe they listen to that song or maybe if that song would come on they would think of you um i feel like they do think of you as like still the one or that you guys might still get together so I mean, they, they might be envious of your partner in particular, but I almost feel like they're angry about you because they feel like it's like you've picked this other person and they, I don't know, there's something where there's money or they feel like this person has a lot of money and that's making them mad. Let me, let me get more cards to see what else spirit has to say. What, why is pile four, who is jealous of pile four and why? The sacred union partnership romance so yeah confirm they're just confirming like yeah it is it is about love and it is about romance um i feel like this person they see you as very beautiful we got the eyes of beauty and it's almost like but i feel like they say say about what they say about you is like that you're like I don't know a femme fatale if you're a guy maybe it would be that you're like a player or something but it's almost like you know how we have these archetypes of women in particular who like lure a man like the sirens how they would sing and then the man on the boat would hear it and crash to their death because they would be lured in by the beauty of the sirens and their voices it's almost like that like i feel like if you're a guy or a girl it doesn't matter but it's just we have a lot of female archetypes of that more more of the female archetype than the male but it's the same vibe and energy where i feel like this person would say like that i don't know you use them or that you know you lied to them or that like you're just using you're using your partner or like well I, like they might say something to other people like well i'm just glad it's not me because I know that they're using this new man the way they for their money and so it's like something like that you know where I feel like they they're they've created a narrative to make themselves feel better about the situation wherein you're like this like black widow who is using men for money or a man who is using women you know so it's like they've created this story around you where you are this like bad person who uses your romance or uses sexuality to try to lure people in and then um, take advantage of them kind of a thing so yeah it's it's like they have cast you in this role as being kind of like predatory or something we got the web weaver so it's like you know the web weaver and i said um like a black widow spider you know and now i'm hearing that song by i'm probably the only person that <laughs> remembers this song but Iggy Azalea and Rita Ora that's like Black Widow and I'm hearing you know that part where Rita Ora says Black Widow baby like it's like they see you as this yeah like um I don't know what the I wish there was a word for it but like I guess femme fatale comes to mind um or someone who lures people in with their beauty with their attractiveness with all this sex appeal and then kind of like uses them and discards them i feel like that's a narrative this person has created in order to make themselves feel better about how the relationship went because they're still very emotionally attached to you and they definitely spent a lot of time reminiscing about your memories together and thinking about it i feel like they're also upset that you moved on and they feel like you moved on too quick or something and there's something about like you never had feelings in the first place or you're cold hearted or you yeah you um you pretended you lied and i feel like this person you know they may have presented this story to like other people as well like if they have friends or something you know how like people will say like if someone says their ex is crazy it's a big red flag where like you know you'll talk to someone and they're like oh all my exes are crazy and it's like really all your exes are crazy all of them come on you know so i feel like this person is like creating that story where if they were on a date or something and someone was like well what happened in your next re last relationship they would be like 
well, I had this ex who used me and they, they are really attractive, but they use people for money or whatever. And it's like, you might not, they might not have even given you a single cent, but they're creating this narrative, you know? So I always want to like encourage people to remember that like, just because I'm repeating it, I'm not buying it. And I'll, like, hopefully anyone with discernment can sometimes see through this stuff, but it's just, I feel like the narrative this person is trying to create around you where they're kind of saying like, well, they did me dirty and they lied and whatever else. So who is jealous of pile? Four, the green bell pepper. Who is jealous of pile four? So we got an exchanging gifts, orphaned, the fates, all the glitters, never ending story. I feel like this person may think that you're in like a sugar, sugar daddy, sugar baby situation. I don't know if that's true or not, but I feel like again, this this is how this person creates this narrative to themselves and to others where you are like you know with this person for money and that they pay for you or maybe a sugar mama if you're a guy I don't know but they're like if you guys have a new partner I feel like they're they're trying that in their mind this is what they're trying to say or this is what they're thinking is like the they think that person gives you money or you're with them for money um and yeah i feel like they they're just trying to make themselves feel better because they feel very abandoned by you they feel very lost like you just left them we got orphaned and like you can see this person or is that a bird i don't know it's like a bird human um looks really sad and abandoned and all alone they look pretty disturbing too i didn't know that was a human with a bird head but okay um so I feel like they, they feel very alone. They feel very abandoned by you. And I don't think this person is particularly mature at processing their emotions. Mm, they're getting mad that I said that. <laughs> they're mad that I said that about them. Well, I mean, it's the truth, but yeah, they're, they're not the most mature. Them getting mad proves that. So it's like they, they feel very upset that you left them. And I feel like they're not really capable of like see now they're like shouting they're mad at me <laughs> for saying this i'm just doing the tarot reading oh my god i'm gonna sage after this reading for sure but um i feel like this this person you know they they don't really want to process things maturely and i'm gonna say it even though this person keeps trying to distract me and is being really loud they don't really process things maturely in a way of being like well i did this that was my part to play this person did that that was wrong that they did that and then i did this that was wrong you know what i think is the mature way to process a relationship is being like you know okay this was my part and maybe your part is really small and that's the honest truth sometimes you have a relationship with a narcissist where the person is truly really cruel to you and you didn't really do that much but I think it's like just for your own sake to be like well then it was my fault for not listening to the red flags not not saying the whole thing's your fault but like this was my part that was their part this this is one thing I did and hopefully if you're in a healthy relationship it's like I did this they did that I did this the, the, you know what I mean like there's there's some kind of part to play where you had a part but I feel like this person just makes you out to be like this villain to make themselves feel better and honestly I think them trying to intervene in the reading just proves that they're very immature because that's really immature like come on I'm I'm just doing the reading i'm just communicating but i feel like they are saying that like this person gives you expensive gifts or that again i think that also they're very upset at the idea of you like emotionally moving on so they make up they, they they're much more comfortable with this narrative where you don't really care about your current partner you're only with your current partner for money and then they feel more okay with the idea of you being with your partner if that makes sense because if they really th oh my god why is this unfocused oh sorry guys i hope that wasn't unfocused for long so annoying when that happens but i feel like um i feel like this person what was i saying feels feels like if you were very much in love with your partner they would be very upset about that they would feel very 
again even more abandoned and even more orphaned and so instead they go and they pretend that you know um that you don't really care for your partner or if you're not with someone then this is what they'll say like oh well they they would only be with someone for money it's almost like they're making you out to be heartless and i think that it's because they have so much emotion towards you like they're overwhelmed almost with emotion the king of cups can really talk ideally about someone who's very emotionally balanced but in this case i feel like it's because they're almost overflowing with too much emotion when it comes to you um, and it's a little bit out of control we got a lot of cups energy so i feel like this person it's like there's they, they, they don't really have a hold on their emotions and so there may have been situations in your relationship where it's like you were calm and they were freaking out I do feel like this person is immature because of how they acted towards me earlier. So I feel like it's almost like I wouldn't be surprised if they threw tantrums and stuff like that. Um, and I feel like because of that, and now it's like they're almost not wanting to answer. It's like they're sulking or something. I could never date someone like this. This would annoy me a lot. But um, yeah you can see that this person like already left this would never fly with me i just don't like this kind of sulking energy it just doesn't vibe but um but i feel like this person is so overly emotional when it comes to you and you would stay very calm in like disagreements and stuff and so they now claim that like you never cared you were heartless but you were just staying calm i think you were just trying to be calm about it and not lose your head and not be like overly emotional because when two people are overly emotional and screaming or losing their minds then it's really a mess when one person is it's still a mess but it's a little bit less of a mess who is thinking of pile four who is thinking of pile four who is envious of pile four who is envious so we got education coming to life rescue details details and a balancing act any more info so i feel like this person yeah they 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 definitely create this idea that you guys are either like gold diggers sugar baby sugar yeah sugar baby that's like gender free um so they create this narrative that you guys are this these users you guys are you know going after people for their money you don't care you're not emotional you only think of yourself um i almost feel like some of you guys may have a little bit of sadness or trauma from this because it's like you you, you knew this narrative was being created about you and it hurts your feelings because you were never trying to hurt them and you felt really beaten down by this relationship like it really bothered you how this person treated you and viewed you so you guys are still kind of like a little bit healing from it and i feel like for those of you who haven't you're not in a new relationship yet it's like this is what they're saying of like this is the only kind of relationship they've ha they'd have like they'd only date someone for money or they'd only be with someone for money and you know they're totally unemotional all they care about is like the status of everything so yeah let me get more cards for pile four who is envious of pile four who's envious of pile four yeah i feel like you guys are very sweet souls to be honest some of you guys may be like codependents this may be like a codependent narcissist type situation where um you guys are actually really sweet and that was like part of the problem of you tolerating this kind of stuff that like a lot of people wouldn't tolerate i mean i don't like someone who acts like this um can you give me more detail spirit can you speak to me since this person is now sulking and refusing to speak to me i'm getting this person's energy coming back a little since i said that maybe my spirit guides <laughs> like push them back in or something but yeah they feel very prickly i feel like they take offense very easily i feel like they get like whip into a frenzy at like the slightest thing it definitely feels like narcissist vibes it definitely feels like they are 
they have a lot of things they're insecure about and they're very low vibrational energy but the thing is with a narcissist is that it's super unconscious a lot of narcissists do have a ton of pain from childhood and stuff like that which of course is really sad and of course you ideally in an ideal world we, we all want to help the person but narcissists are so unconscious that it's like you really can't fix them you know you really can't because they will just project it on you they have such a deep layer of this toxic shame and they're so unwilling to fix it and they project it onto others and it just forms this toxic sludge so i feel like if you guys left this person behind they're definitely kind of jealous and envious of whatever you guys have in your life and they're definitely keeping track of you for sure i definitely feel like they're checking your social media they're watching you they're seeing you grow and glow up and they don't like that um and i feel like they also ask the people around you like what you're up to like they if you guys had any mutual friends i feel like they're asking the mutual friends like what do they have going on where are they going who are they dating are they with people um it's almost like they see you as their property or their territory or something like they they can't believe that you would have the audacity to leave them because they're like excuse me you were mine you are mine how dare you leave it's like if your couch just suddenly got up and walked out of your apartment you'd be like what the heck i mean beyond like i guess filming it and like trying to go get collect money from like a museum or something or you know selling it for a million dollars because now you have a walking couch but like you know obviously if like your couch just suddenly somehow decided to stop working or to leave you'd be like shocked and totally dismayed because you'd be like excuse me this is my couch i bought it i paid for it like this is mine I'm reminded like I've, I've been having so many deliveries come from my apartment because since I just moved in, I'm like still getting a bunch of stuff, you know, still furnishing and trying to get some holiday decor and stuff. And um, and it's like this a couple of days ago, like they ran out of space in all of the mailboxes. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff being delivered. And so I guess they took all my stuff out of the mailbox because we have like these very secure mailboxes like my more higher tech where you have to like code in and stuff so they took all my stuff out of that and they put it in like the the other room for like larger larger stuff so i went down and got my stuff and it wasn't there and it was like at night so i couldn't ask anyone and i was so mad and i called my best friend and i was like i can't believe someone would just take my packages like i was like how could you just take someone's packages and not let them know and i was so outraged like some of the stuff i didn't even care that much about you know wasn't like super expensive stuff it was just like small stuff but i was like but it's mine and now it's gone and no one even told me you know like i feel like that's how this person feels like it's like someone just stole their package and they're like that's my object and now it's missing and it's like this outrage outrage that they have like i don't think they're very mature about realizing that they have a part to play in the relationship and you are a human being not an object not a package not a delivery from a store but you are a human with your own feelings and you know that they had a part to play so i think that this person is very immature and um i definitely think they're jealous of everything you have going on i feel like you guys are getting more into your happiness and you know it's like they hate to see it deceit okay more deceit coming through from this person not a surprise man holding a heart okay so confirmation that this is romantic and I, I think it is an ex attachment reverse archangel chamuel reverse that's really interesting because archangel chamuel is the archangel of love so this is reversed so this was not real love this was not a pure true love this was very dysfunctional and unhealthy woman holding a heart reversed so I feel like you guys didn't love them. And I'm not saying that in the way this person would make it out to be like a victim. Okay, these all flew out. Caring connections, broken heart, hostilities. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, but so, um, so it's like, I'm not saying like, you never loved them the way they would say it. Like, you never loved me, you lied. I just feel like, how could you not to, I mean, it sounds harsh and it's not to be a jerk, but because obviously everyone is lovable but how could you love someone when they're treating you like this you know how could you love someone when they're so immature like this 
like you need to to you know love is a verb <laughs> like when you love someone you actively treat them well you don't act like a toddler throwing a tantrum and being like yeah, i didn't get my way so i feel like this person acted really badly and it really turned you guys off and i feel like you guys are kind of emotionally moved on from them like you still have a little trauma or a little bit of you know I don't want to say scars, but it's almost like a bruise that's still healing, an emotional bruise that's still healing from what you went through with this person and the way they treated you. But I feel like you guys are growing so much and you guys are going to have, like, it's not that you guys are these cold, like scheming people that they're trying to make you out to be. It's that they didn't treat you badly or they didn't treat you correctly. They treated you badly. So of course you're not gonna be obsessed with them and you're not gonna be in love with them the same way they were in love with you. But I feel like they tried to make you feel bad about that and they portrayed themselves as the victim to others. Like they lied and they used me kind of a thing. Um, it would be interesting to hear what you used them for because honestly, with the immature vibe I'm getting from them, I don't think that, I'm not getting like this is a huge success of a person. I could be wrong, you know, there are narcissists and stuff that end up making a lot of money, but they are just super immature and I'm not getting super generous energy. So like, I'm just like, what did, <laughs> anyway, me and this person's energy do not vibe. <laughs> Definitely saging this apartment afterwards. So I'm not gonna roast them anymore, but I don't get what you would have used them for. Like, it's just not, not adding up to me. Um, yeah, so I feel like you kind of walked away and they're upset about it and they're still very attached to you. You guys might try doing, you know, you might be energetically still attached to them and you might try doing like a cord cutting ritual or something to try to um, make sure that those energetic cords get cut because I wouldn't want to be connected to this person. Oh no, that's why I said I'm saging a million times because it's like, no, this person's energy is not <laughs> high vibrational. So I think maybe, of course, you have to make your own choices and you know, don't do it just because I said, but if you guys are like, no, I'm definitely done with this person. I wish they would leave me alone because they do think about you a lot. They think about you a whole lot. They're checking on you. They're asking about you. You can ask for help from Archangel Michael. You could ask from Archangel Chamuel as well to cut any cords that are no longer serving you. Of course, meditate on that and make your own choices because you know cord cutting can be a serious thing. It's you know kind of permanent, so you don't want to do it like a spur of the moment, angry. And don't take my advice. Make your own decision on that. But if that's something you guys want to do, then definitely. Um, you know, you could ask Archangel Michael to, to cut that with his sword of light and to clear the path for new connections, but to cut any ties that are no longer serving you. Um, because I feel like this person is still very energetically attached to you and they're kind of hating on you. I'm hearing like <laughs> that song, like they see me rolling, they hating, but it's like, it's true. They're, are, they're hating. They're just, that's what they're actively doing. They're just hating all the time. Um, and yeah, so you could ask for those cords to be cleared so that this person can't have access to you. Cause I just think their energy is super immature. And I think you guys just deserve better. You guys are this beautiful star. I love this card that you guys got. And like, just look how happy she looks. She just looks like she's so feeling herself. She looks like she's just kind of glowing. She looks like she's in a glamorous outfit and she just looks like she's feeling her outfit like she looks like she's feeling herself you know like the beyonce song i'm feeling myself that's what she looks she looks like the personification of that song you could just hear it playing if i was a better singer i would sing it but i'm definitely not no one needs to hear me belting out those notes but um but yeah that's kind of the vibe that i feel like i want to see you guys in is like self-love and not being tied to this toxic loser you know because i mean i'm not trying to be super blunt trying to work on you know my mercury square pluto so i'm not going to say they're a loser but i think that you know they're not a winner <laughs> i'll say that i don't think i would want to be tied to this person i think that they need to you know work on themselves so yeah i think that you guys have this beautiful energy coming in and you guys deserve to be happy and you do deserve to have um this 
you know, whatever they think you're going to have that they're getting so mad about, um, you deserve it. You deserve a king of pentacles. You deserve to have someone who's going to treat you so well, not just about money, but like overall, like just in general, treat you with so much love and respect and dignity. So yeah, this person's jealous, angry, hating. Is there anything else you want me to say to pile for about this person? Or does this person want to say anything? Cause I'm about to cut him off and sage him out of this room. Mm, well, they just said, I see you. I think that's directed towards you. So I definitely think they keep track of you on the astral plane. Ugh, they're so immature. I can't believe I gave them one last shot to talk to you. And instead of saying something mature, they said, I see you in like a taunting way. It could be talking to me, but I'm definitely going to stage them out of here and get my guides and everyone on my team to kick them out and they don't have a chance of staying. But for you guys, you know, you may work on cutting those cords because I feel like they're immature. And I do feel like they check your social media and kind of ask about you. And they're very taunting, immature energy. I really don't like it. This person really, ooh, mm -mm -mm. it's going to be time for a spiritual bath as well after this. <laughs> but I think that's all the messages I want to get from this person. I don't think they're going to say anything super nice or enlightening. So let me know if it resonated, guys. Um, drop it in the comments if it did. And also make sure to subscribe and like, turn on notifications. And I will be back very soon for another reading that's hopefully a lot more positive than this person who is so lovely. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys then. So sending you love and light. Bye, guys.